What's up guys? Welcome back to the ranch. All right, what are we doing today, guys? We're planting giant miscanthus from real world. That's right. Look at that. Look at that wall. So this is that switchgrass area here. And uh, you can't see it in this direction, but this is my neighbor's property and I do love him, but I'm trying to block him out just so he doesn't see me because you could see my house area over here. See me on the back of my, my house sometimes. I'm out there in my underwear walking the dog in the morning. It's just, this is what happens. And uh, I'm blocking him out a little bit with this gigantic miscanthus. But also, I'm gonna use this as a piece in complement to my switchgrass to block out my access into the woods on this side of the property. So we're here and we're starting to dig the holes and I'll give you a little sh shot of what's happening here on that. So today's project, ranchers, Gigantis Miscanthus. Woo! All right, so again, we're doing Giant Miscanthus or Miscanthus Gigantis. And um, you need to plant this in a grid pattern. So you can see you stagger holes and they suggest uh, a pattern kind of like I'll stand here and you can see. So we got hole, hole, you go this way hole and then we skip this row and go to the third row hole and this should grow up and be a giant wall. And like I said, um, the idea is we're trying to block the back of the ranch there so you can't see into this property and down in, in basically me on my deck. I'm blocking my neighbors out so they don't see me. Again, love them, but I'm trying to just uh, screen off my property, screen off my access into the woods. So we have the grid planting, and now into this grid, we drop rhizomes. All right, what was that crazy word I just said? Rhizomes. That's right. That's how this, this switchgrass, well not switchgrass, miscanthus grass grows. Rhizome, and this is a rhizome. This is what I got in that giant bag. A whole bunch of these. And what this is is basically a root system that makes this plant non-invasive. It creeps, it kind of grows and creeps. So you can see this will be the shoot that comes up right here, this, this reddish color. And then this is what is creeping to, to this new red shoot. So this year, this will probably have two shoots out of this rhizome. And every year, this miscanthus gigantis or giant miscanthus grass is supposed to expand in all directions about four to six inches. Hence why you make the grid planting that I just showed you in the ground. So it all grows in together and becomes that solid wall. Why do you want that grid and not just plant one row? You do want to give it structure on itself. So you don't want it to flop over in the winter in the wind and in the snow. That's why you do this grid planting system. And uh, as I always say, secret to a good planting video is have the hole dug before we start the video. So these rhizomes are going into the ground. All right, guys, so again, we're working on the grid system here. So hole, 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 and we, you know, we skip, skip the middle here so there's, a, um, there's room for growth. And these holes don't have to be deep. You don't have to dig big, big, deep, crazy holes. All they gotta be is three to four inches, and you place this in, in the ground, with the, the shoots shooting, facing up, because that's the way it's gonna grow towards the light, and this will start to grow when the ground gets warm. And this will be the way it's creeping. That's kind of up to your, your judgment, which way you'd like it to creep. I think I'm gonna go this way, and then just cover it up, and pray to Mother Nature to do her part. All right. Good morning, ranchers. Day two on the Gigantus Miscanthus project. And I got the field king. So, you saw me plant everything yesterday in that grid, 18 inch, three row part. So now this morning, coming back, I finished putting in the last of the rhizomes. And what we're spraying on top of it is a little bit of atrazine. Same thing you would do with like a switchgrass planting, just to prevent some emerging broadleaf weeds. This is a pre-emergent herbicide, and we're gonna keep everything dead to get these rhizomes sprouting that gigantus miscanthus and have have my screening wall all right here we go it's a nice dry morning 
and I'm just spraying a nice little application over all my holes. I'm not worried about spraying the other area. Everything in this area doesn't have to grow, so just keep spraying. Nice, even application. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Let me get the rest of this row all done. That's Gigantus Miscanthus. Hopefully, in the summer, I can show you some growth on this.